Oh my heavens. That's better than any Philly cheese is what we call them down here in the South. You will get in a restaurant. You can dress up a sandwich at home and be very excited about what you're eating. And it don't have to be humdrum. <laughs> Valley Cooks and today we're making a quick lunch. I'm boiling some eggs for supper. I'm going to make some deviled eggs because we have quite a few, believe it or not. Um, this is some leftover roast beef that I made and I'll post that video probably today as well. So you'll know how I made it. I actually added some brown gravy to it. It's just this McCormick brown gravy mix that I get at Sam's Club. So that was added to it. So this ground beef not ground beef. I keep saying ground beef. This roast beef has brown gravy mix in it. And then I found these in the, I was looking in my pantry to make a menu and I found these roasted red peppers. And I thought, you know what? Those would be really good in the roast beef and we'll make a sandwich out of it. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to put the meat in these hot dog buns. And I'm going to spray the buns because Chris did give me some olive oil spray. We're going to put them in the air fryer. And, of course, if you don't have an air fryer, you can use um, your oven to do this. Now, I'm going to sprinkle some. Um, these are some blends that I got at Aldi. This is a rosemary and garlic blend. So, I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on my bun since we can't go to the restaurant who says we can't go the extra mile when we make a sandwich, right? So that's going to add to the flavor of it. We're going to stuff these with our roast beef. I've already chopped up some red peppers and put in there. This is a good way to... Have your roast beef go a little, a little further. You don't really need to eat a whole lot of meat, so there's no sense in, you know, overdoing it. And y'all are about to see why I love my air fryer so much. This can be Amy's. May's already had a Pop-Tart, so she don't want to eat with us for lunch. Now, if you don't have roast beef, you can use anything. Right now, bread is scarce. And let me just say this, that potato roll bread... Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This potato bread is amazing. It stays good for a long time. And so what if you can't get sandwich bread? Buy whatever you can get and do like I'm doing today and just make it work. Chris went to get um, ground, beef. ground beef and he couldn't find any. What? No, I got ground beef. Oh, you got ground beef. Yeah, the only thing I didn't get is flour. Oh, he couldn't find the self-rising flour. So, okay, let's put these in here. They have plenty of bread. Do they? Mm -hmm. And he said the grocery store had plenty of bread today. Just not a lot of flour. Okay. We're going to get these in the air fryer. We've already warmed up our roast beef, so mostly what we're doing... Let me turn it off. It was already on a setting. We're going to press the bread setting and click start. Now, this is why I love my air fryer. If I had put this in the oven, it would have taken at least 10 to 15 minutes. It's been in here for four minutes. And I want you to look at the results you get in four minutes. The bread is toasty. The air fryer toasts. And melts cheese, does nachos and sandwiches and stuff so fast, it is worth every penny you pay for it. I love the air fryer. So let's get these sandwiches out on our plates. I'm going to have to use tongs because it's so hot. Those are so soft, I'm trying not to smoosh them. But I have to smoosh them to get them out of the thing. Let me see if I can pick this one up really quick. And I'm going to cut it in half and let you see how pretty it looks. And take a bite.
Yummy. Oh my heavens. That's better than any Philly cheese is what we call them down here in the South. You will get in a restaurant. You can dress up a sandwich at home and be very excited about what you're eating. And it don't have to be humdrum. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.